my hello there guys welcome back to another video it is me quite afro and welcome to a new series on the channel i'm really eager to actually get this one going because this is going to be playing rail route uh, train dispatcher as you know i have had a similar well i wouldn't say it's a similar sort of game but i had a similar series in a way some time ago on the channel called playing mini metro and when this game came about and funny enough one of my work colleagues actually suggested that i should actually play this game this is one of my, this is one of the work colleagues that actually knows that i have a youtube channel and they were like oh you need to try this game and the thing is i've had this i saw this game just like you know sort of passing by every sort of like you know when i was on steam and then on youtube i've kind of seen it like you know just there and about and I thought oh what is it is it some uh, like I always like I was always going to check it out like because it was like oh this looks a bit like signaling or something like that you know s s something like that really sort of interests me in this sort of space and it reminded me a lot sort of like of mini metro in the sort of sense but obviously mini Re mini metro was more about creating a sort of map and creating sort of a sustainable flowing kind of uh map with uh trains and lines and sorting out that sort of like passenger flow while this game is all about managing and sort of signaling and as well dispatching trains uh, i've done the tutorial i've actually played it quite some time ago and like the hang of it there is a sort of like story mode element as well to it but i actually like what i'm seeing with the sort of workshop content where you can actually get user created maps and obviously that for me just screams i need to find something in the UK, maybe London Underground related as well, and just something that like I can familiarize myself with. Obviously, there's loads of other stations and sort of layouts that I could do, but for this first episode of Rail Route Train Dispatcher, I thought I would try something a little bit close to home with uh, Edra Road um, LUL, or Edra Road London Underground, it's a nice sort of simple layout of uh, controlling the Hammersmith and City Circle and District Line. Obviously, you have terminating trains at Edra Road. You have through trains through Edra Road. Um, and yeah, essentially, we're just going to try and manage the Circle, Hammersmith and City and District Line at Edra Road. There used to be a signal box there that used to manually sit in it when it was all sort of manual pre-CBTC. It was all manually done at a... Uh, I do believe a manual box that is actually located quite close to Edra Road Station, just off set off the platforms. Uh, and uh, obviously now it's all CBTC, so it's all, you know, uh, automatic uh, train control and all that. So everything's signalless, so uh, visual signalless, I don't know what that means. It's, it's all in cab signaling, essentially. But I thought, yeah, let's give this game a go. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys played this. What do you guys think of this game? I definitely wanted to cover on the channel. I know there's a, maybe maybe even is there any sort of point of me maybe continuing with like Mini Metro. I know that the developers of that game as well created a new game called Mini Motorways. I don't know if that has potential to, you know, have a little bit of attention to that. But today I'm really excited to bring you my first um, rail route train dispatcher video. And let's do it by doing a bit of Edra Road on the London Underground. Right, so let's just discuss here the layout, what we have. Uh, Edra Road has four through platforms. Technically two, but two are mainly used for turnbacks for the circle and the district line. So any district line that train that comes from Wimbledon terminates at Edra Road and any circle line train that comes from doing a loop around via King's Cross, then Tower Hill, Victoria, etc. Westminster, blah, blah, blah. They come up around this way via Bayswater and terminate normally on, I think it's normally platform three is where the circle line terminates and then platform two is where the district line from Wimbledon terminates. And essentially, then you have platform four and one. Uh, one is for all of this Hammersmith and City line, and the circle lines are coming from Hammersmith, and they go towards Baker Street and beyond to like Barking, and then circle loops back around in a lasso. And then uh, platform four has this uh, Hammersmith uh, and City line 
that goes to Paddington and then the circle line that goes back anti-clockwise round and comes back through Paddington. So that's the sort of layout, very sort of simple, but I think this route has been, I think a lot of trains has been like, you know, casted on this and uh, are done. I don't know whoever did the uh, the route, but uh, thank you. I'll leave the link down below into the workshop link for this. I think we should just get involved and just, uh, I don't know how chaotic this is going to be. I've tried a few like other sort of simpler maps, but this one obviously might be very uh, difficult with these sort of amounts of uh, trains that are coming through. So what do we have? We have a, uh, we have a Ham Paddington Suburban, oh, Hammersmith and City Line. We want to get that in. Uh, we want to signal that in to uh, platform four. Uh, and then essentially we kind of want to get it going through to Paddington Suburban, Hammersmith and City and Circle. Uh, and that I think should be good. I think. Uh, uh, there we go. So that's now, that train is now there at Baker Street. It then has it specifically this game has like in terms it gives you the sort of details of when the train arrives at a station when it's supposed to depart so now has it like a specific dwell time here i think this is whiskey 273 i think that's is that head code for for london underground trains i do not know the sort of obviously london underground have a sort of different lingo to sort of network rail kind of stuff but um I'm just going to call, yeah, that's Whiskey273. It's now has about 30, uh, 30 more seconds dwell time there. And then down here on the bottom right, you can see all the sort of trains that are coming up. I can see the next one, which is going to actually be a, uh, it's going to come from Baker Street, Edge Road, Paddington. So it's another suburban service. Uh, then we have a... I do believe we have a Hammersmith and City line from Paddington Suburban. So I might as well get this sorted out for a train that will be coming this way around. There's going to be a lot of um, a lot of micromanagement here, as you can see, which this kind of reminds me nicely of Path Occupied should be path occupied how's the path occupied uh two, please go so that's that's already first train i've done is already in it's it's sorted uh but why is this not allowing me oh there we go i have to Oh, so with these ones, I have to set a path like further from the signal. I don't think these are signals. I think these are like some sort of like extender kind of thing. I'm not too sure. But as you can see, uh, we have then train two. So wait, why is this one? That one's whiskey two seven three. This one's just two six seven. Right. Uh, we can speed up a little bit because. Uh, we'll basically essentially have the same train coming through. Um, uh, I'm going to put on normal speed and this one. So now we have a now we have a terminating district line or it, it doesn't matter what it is. It's either a district or um, this one wants to go into platform three. So that one is about depart. So see that one, this one now that's in Paddington Parade Street. I'm just going to call this one Paddington Parade Street because that's where it is in real life. Uh, this one has a quite long dwell time here. So I can essentially worry about this train that's now departing and it's going towards Paddington Suburban, which is nice. We have our uh hammersmith and city but well it, they're not differentiating if it's a hammersmith and city or if it's a circle line because it, it doesn't really matter if it's coming from paddington suburban it, it doesn't matter it's it's going the same way like a, a circle or hammersmith city line and 
if it's coming from Prade Street sort of kind of way, it's going to be a terminating circle or district line sort of train. Which is good. Um, so that's now there. That has a 20 second dwell time, which is perfect. I can't really do anything in terms for this train because... Yeah, I can do that. So I can I can let it depart, but it's gonna have to wait here a little bit. I can set the points ready for platform uh three here. Need the switch work to kind of get proper here. Uh what do we have here? We have another just circle I'm assuming city line coming into Baker Street. Uh, this one is going to Suburban, which uh, no train luckily from this side of like Baker Street will go towards the Prade Street sort of Paddington line, which is good. I have to now wait till that section clears. And there we go. And I can put that into the platform. That's now occupying this area, so it's just going to, it's doing basically a crossover here. But that essentially is it for that move for Whiskey 273. That's going to be waiting there for a minute. So that doesn't, that doesn't really bother me too much. I just hope this doesn't get too crazy. So what's this? Another. But this, this is the sort of intensity I would, I would presume that when if, if it gets into sort of like peak service, this is the sort of intensity the, these trains will just like come all at a flurry. And then I have to manage basically what's come what's coming in first. Uh Baban 04. Okay, so that one's departing soon. So that should be fine. Uh I can sort this one out. Some of these dwell times are really long. Like really long. Uh I can get that going and uh, so that path is occupied. So I'll just lead, I'll lead that train up to that signal. But I like how it kind of goes like you can lead it to sort of like a um, sort of like in a way single yellow kind of thing or like a repeater signal to like to the, to the red signal that danger which is quite nice. So now we have a different sort we have now sort of a different approach here with this terminating train. So I want it to reverse. It still has a bit of a dwell time. It has a four minute dwell time actually, which is quite long. So I don't actually have to particularly worry about that one, which is actually kind of realistic to real life. Uh, I don't know if the dwell, is the dwell time normally like that at Paddington for like circle and district line trains? I'm not too sure, but that means I don't have to worry about that one too much. This is the one now I have to sort of worry because that one's supposed to go in 20 seconds. Uh, I will path it and I can give it a fully clear path. This one obviously is going to leave then soon as well. And that's perfect. That is all sorted. Uh, and essentially I could sort of speed up the time because... Oh, go. There we go. I can speed up the time because I essentially don't have anything to do until that one departs. We can put this one into platform two. And this one's terminal. Ah, so now, now we have a little bit of an interesting thing. I'm first going to put this, uh, chuck this one in. I'm going to put it on normal time. So, okay, that one's crossing over. This one's going to have to wait a little bit here to kind of like for this train to come over. This one can just be already rooted in there, and then that's obviously occupying this. This whis whiskey two one one delta. This two zero five delta is fine. They all have such weird names. I don't know if this is actually like the case. Right, you can go ahead. Uh, submit another train in here. And this one has a bit more of a longer dwell time, I think. Uh, so once that's now fully in the occupied section, I can get uh, get this one into platform two. First one, but we're getting into 
platform two as a terminator. There we go. Perfect. This one has a how much of longer of a dwell time? Ten. And there's a Okay, this one needs to sort of depart soonish. Now we're getting now we're getting into the sort of uh nitty gritty where I can I can actually let this one depart. Uh There we go. Perfect. Oh, we've got a little bit of an achievement. Nice. Uh, so, we have a terminating... Uh, I can set now that one to that. So, we've now just sent... We've sent over... We've sent our first... Technically, that's, I would say, the circle line. We've sent our first terminating circle line away. Uh, we're bringing in our first district line terminator. Uh, what is this one doing? Some of these dwell times are very interesting at, like, say, Baker Street. I guess this one, obviously, the thing is, you could have added, uh, like, another bit to this map. Could have been the Metropolitan Line, Baker Street sort of, sort of section, where that would even add another layer of, uh, of juice. Uh, then we can change that one. Uh, that should be fine. Perfect. I uh, like to just slap that reversed on quickly so I just don't confuse myself. What's kind of funny here as well like, is these points will probably never be used in all sort of fairness. Uh, right. I can switch. Switch that for Suburban or the... Um, for a circle Hammersmith and City line to Hammersmith. That one's done. That one's... Look at this. This one's just taking so long. Unless... Am I supposed to like... No, that's its dwell time. It's not going to depart there until 11. So that's... That's just that. That's that, that sort of kind of thing. Uh, I guess I could sort of speed up time a little bit here because once once you have like a sort of flow or what's kind of going on then it's not bad like i know what i'm doing i know what switches and stuff like that i'm doing it just depends if they throw in a lot more at once that's the that's this kind of scary thing here so can do that throw in that See now this is here again now where it kind of gets a bit a bit dicey. So now this one I have to actually set go. Uh which one has the shorter dwell time here? So here on this one I have to now allow a district line. Is that a district? Yeah, that's a district line. Allow a district line. Oh, I've not clear this path. Uh, there we go. I forgot, I, I honestly forgot about this one because this one obviously was, ha there was a train occupying this platform that was just taking so long. Uh, but now that one has a good dwell time here at Paddington Suburban. So it's good that I rooted this terminating circle line train into platform three. Uh, I can now even sort that out. There we go. Perfect. We have a circle Hammerson from City 9 coming in. That's beautiful. That will probably have a nice bit of a dwell time at Edge Road Platform 4. Don't have to really worry about that one too much. That district line is off to Prade Street. And I feel I'm micromanaging this not too bad. Really, I think I'm doing a good job. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, so now uh, we can switch the points and get that one going. We can switch now that one to there. You go. Should be a go. But sometimes it doesn't set the signal properly. It, like leaves a little bit of a gap or whatever. 
we go. Again, this one here with the dwell time. Kind of funny. Uh, so this one, we want to clear it into platform one. That's path occupied. I need, I need to, this outer rail here, uh, eastbound, I need to just uh, have a bit more of a better eye with that. Let's get this circle line terminator reversed so it's ready to go in how many minutes or whatever when it gets actually good for departure. We have a district line, the district line terminator coming through. Hopefully this has a Mm. See, this has now a dwell time. So this is now an executive decision I have to take here. Is this dwell time going to be short enough for this one that's here that's going towards Hammersmith? That's going to be a bit crucial to kind of like... Come on. Path, what do you mean path occupied? There we go. Done. So, uh, one minute, oh, okay, that one has a one minute dwell time, that's perfect, we don't have to worry about that, we can get this um, Hammersmith bound service going towards Paddington Suburban, and that works out really well actually. This one is departing it in a minute, we have another Hammersmith bound service coming through, which this is now getting a little bit more intense here for this service getting trains just kind of like coming up and getting rammed right at the back and you can even see here coming up there's going to be a lot more stuff back to back and that's where i'm going to have to be a bit more like sharper on my toes with just kind of how i'm going to like plan to kind of get trains going without having to like delay too much other trains the so seed here now this is a little bit of a bottleneck here in terms of like i'm having to wait for this one movement to come across towards um, Paddington Suburban Station. This one's also essentially ready to go. What's good about this one is this one's coming into Platform 2. This one's departing here, this uh, 200 train, is departing from Platform 3. So there is no conflict with the oncoming train, which is nice. And we're going to accept another train in there. Uh, 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 that is all set up for there. So that left side, I don't even have to worry about that right now. Uh, right, that is set for platform two for this. Uh, go that can go through, and that can go through too. There we go. Two trains sorted on the sort of district kind of circle, the Parade Street sort of section, the Hammersmith and City, like Hammersmith bound and Baker Street bound trains are not doing too bad. So yeah, some of the UI does get a little bit kind of funky here with the, some sort of the overlay, but to be honest, when I first loaded in this game, like I was very confused, like there was a lot like sort of happening with the UI but once you actually understand what's going on it's actually really easy to read that's why I'm kind of like just jumped into this map have not practiced this map at all and I'm just you know doing it in how I see um and how I see fit essentially there we go that one's set now we'll get into platform two nicely and we'll allow this 271 Delta train to come through perfectly. There we go. And we can already set the route for this all the way. That one's there. That's Look at this. Absolute perfect. It's just flowing. Like it's an easy, it's actually, well, it can be a hard map, but it is actually supposed, supposed to be quite sort of easy in terms of like the level, I think. I like that there's a lot of stuff that you can get from for this game, like on the workshop in terms of uh, uh, content. So you can find like some sort of layout for like kind of not all UK stations, but like general kind of like the sort of popular ones. 
Right, so we have this 271 Delta now departing. That is beautiful. Don't have to think about that one. And then, oh, I can even set. So if I go that and that, okay, that's how I do it. So I have to do the triangle one first and then set the actual path of where the, where the actual line is, I see. That one still has a good dwell time. That's going Hammersmith bound. You have the you have like this number twenty six uh, siding, pretty much not going to be used. As I said, these points here, they're not going to be used. Like they're just not going to be used at all. Because no trains really do through running through platform two and three. Not really. It's not really a, a, a major. Not really a major thing to be honest. Uh, there we go, that connects up there. So that has a 35 second dwell time. This has a 1 minute 33. And that's the free trains. As you can see here, that's the free trains on my sort of like incoming kind of flow chart here. Those are the free trains I'm handling right now. And everything seems to be good and on time. And I can maybe speed up time a little bit here. I don't, don't need to... If, if, if everything... If everything's working, you know, it it, it works, you know. Uh, we can do that. The only thing when I speed up time is that obviously you just hear a lot of the um, you hear a lot of the kind of alert sort of kind of thing popping off. Uh, so with this one, I have to. Do... And that should be good. Perfect, that's really good. Okay, um, edge of roadbound train uh, would be best to do this one first. There we go. This one already has another 50 seconds on the dwell time. That one's off. The 2271 Delta, Whiskey 21 Delta is coming through, platform 4. We have it stopped here at this signal because we have that train that's just departed a district line bound train for um Wimbledon nice see it's like I can speed up time a bit and then once it gets a little bit like kind of hectic when I want to sort out the sort of switches and stuff that's when I can do that and it is uh good what platform, platform three so this is a terminating this is a terminating circle line train it's completed a lasso loop Uh, this one needs to get going. So let's go. That way we can get moving behind the other train. We have another Hammersmith and C circle to Hammersmith coming through there. We can set the signals as far as we can. And that is essentially good to go into platform one. Perfect. And that is sorted. We can set the points for Hammersmith here on this one. Go okay, perfect. Nice. And then with the terminating circle line train, we just get reverse like see ready for departure there when that's needed. And essentially it's kind of like clockwork like that. I can see a little bit there there is some kind of variation coming up. So it's not all sort of the same. I think sometimes they throw in like an extra train on one of the lines or whatever, but it definitely keeps you on your toes. Good. We have a, I think that should be a district line train. It's interesting that they've, they've not sent in say like two circle line trains that would want to terminate at like platform free at the same time because that means that then i'll have one train waiting for another train to depart the platform but then it would just probably say to use platform two a vacant platform or whatever uh so that has a good dwell time that one's shorter and that one's even longer as well uh we can set that path i like the music the ambience is good um I'm rather enjoying this. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I'm I, I I like that I kind of found another game that's sort of like this sort of strategy, which I kind of miss on the channel. 
because you know like obviously i used to play like obviously cities in motion um mini metro and all that kind of jazz and it's nice having like instead of just driving stuff and doing like simulation it's nice doing like some of these kind of like transport secretary um i don't think transport secretary branch apps what <laughs> uh, tr um transport sort of like um strategy games uh and that's definitely like more something i'd I really like want to find more of these sort of niche games like this, and I know there are there are some out there. There's quite a few uh, that I've seen, uh, some a bit more obscure than this or whatever. But this was one of those ones I definitely was like, oh, I need to definitely have a go at this once I get the channel back up and running with regular videos, because I think this one this would be definitely like something my viewers would want to watch or like you know watch the strategy try out different sort of maps a bit more complicated a bit more easier whatever and then also like if you have this game i think it uploads the sort of scoring and stuff so we can definitely like we can compare the scores and whatever uh right so now we have that parted that's going to, that's going to part one two Oh, that's still occupying the path. That's so annoying. Come on. Yeah. See, it has to be, look, it has to be past this signal for this whole section to be, like, unoccupied. Uh, we have to get this train out of here. There we go. Oh, we have another, I forgot to completely to forget to, to accept another sort of Hammersmith and City Line train in from Hammersmith. Uh, this looks like it still has a pretty nifty dwell time. Yep, that one's not going anywhere. Nice, we have a, so we have a nice terminating South Line and a terminating District Line altern alternating there, which is nice. Get that signal code for that train, even though it's going to be still there for a little while. And that is good. I don't know. Have I received any sort of penalties? Stop train alerts. Alert train is stop. That signal. Manual signal route preview. Oh. Manual signal security. Arrive train alerts. Breaking train alerts. Oh, so this is just all sort of like different sort of alerts and stuff like that. Which is good enough for me. Um, I suppose what we can do is get this signaled to get to Baker Street. Uh, that's occupied, so I can't do that. And this is going to be departing this district line that is terminated here. This train 75 is not going to go for quite a while, so we can technically then route this one. Uh, over. Oh, this one's still occupying this tra track then. Well, we can add a little bit of speed because now we're in that, again, that sort of portion where we don't we can afford a little bit more time passing by. Go, that one's signaled. And we should have another oh, another two trains. Coming through. Uh, there we go. Not the future things coming through. Let's see if I can even keep up on um, a sort of speed like this, because it just it feels like there's just a lot more. Uh, this is route. Uh, oh. Ah, okay. I've already, like, I already kind of, like, cocked it up with um, this reverse train. It got to its dwell time, and I didn't, um, I didn't reverse it properly. So, it, it, essentially, if you don't reverse the train, it will just continue going in the direction that it was going. So, it was kind of, like, trying to head out of Platform 2 to kind of go towards Baker Street. Um... That won't conflict, so I can get this train. Uh, get that train signaled, and now I can get this 
train signal go see that's the only thing when i speed up the time it's just a lot of alerts coming on at the same time and it gets a bit like disorientating where you're like oh i'm focusing on like a few things maybe at once but then oh there's that bird thing that's like beeping out the way in the background and you don't realize so let me reverse that Get that train through. Now this is a bit interesting. We're having a lot more trains now coming in from sort of Paddington Parade Street side. So we're having a lot more terminating trains coming through. Which is going to pose a little bit more of an interesting conundrum here. That's fine. Fine, this one. We're signaling this one towards Hammersmith. And that one's not fine for another minute, which is good. Uh, let's accept that train, signal it as far as we can. What's really good is that whoever, obviously whoever simulated this in this sort of like map, um, whoever made this custom map, obviously timetabled everything correct to the correct platform. Now someone could have been really evil and just do random platforms, which I guess maybe you could, technically you could like have things going in platform 4 and 3 from Baker Street or having things going to platform 1, 2 and 3 from either end and then continuing to Baker Street. Now that would be, I'm only able to keep on top of this because I understand the kind of service pattern and where the trains have to go. But if that wasn't the case, like that it would be a lot harder to to kind of decipher with everything going into random places when the, when there's a bit of when there's a bit of order in terms of where everything is going where where this particular service will always be in this platform sort of thing then then it's absolutely fine uh so this one's going into platform to do that's fine so there's no conflict there can set that through go perfect that is all pretty much sorted now and again every time i go for like even like i i, I wouldn't even know what to do in terms of doing 25 times force faster like i would i would have assumed that, that those are for those kind of maps where you have big gaps in between and you're just waiting for like a long train to kind of pass through or whatever and obviously this game you can have you can have trains that are not passengers so you can have freight trains that are just getting like to one siding or uh on some of the tutorial things it was like you'd have to go from like a dock siding or something so definitely i can see where you would use the fastest speed but on this kind of thing i'm pretty content with just using the normal speed and then just speeding it up when i kind of need to uh, i can do that uh speed that up uh and then so I have to I have to work with my mind a little bit more faster um, than doing it at normal speed. But I think it could be, well, try and give it a go. That one's reversing, that one's two minutes dwell time, that one shouldn't need to be set up. Perfect. And then it'll be that, set, that one set up. And we'll have some more trains coming in any second now, probably. There we go. More, more stuff coming through. I, want to, I love it with this one. I just set it through into the platform four. I don't have to think about it. It's really nice. And this is where I have to kind of like go like, hey, let's uh, pause the break here. Perfect. Uh, that means we can set this one as well. And that one's going to be platform three, so that's a terminating circle line train. And I've got to set that one up <laughs> as I normally do. And that is working out for me. We only have about 15 trains left, so that's well, up here. Obviously, you see the kind of like scoreboard, you see how many trains you have left on the actual system to kind of like handle. So, what's nice is that there's obviously different end, there's endless modes where you can just sit, relax, and just 
you know, to your heart's content, signal as many trains and dispatch as many trains as you want without having to worry too much about the score or the limit or the amount of trains. This one is obviously a scored one where I get a set, I think it was 38 trains, or something that we have to kind of like signal and handle. And that's essentially what I'm doing. We have 15 more left and it kind of goes kind of quick in terms of and because obviously there's always like about four trains on the map, four or five trains on the map anyway. Uh, get that one moving a little bit. Uh, this one's going to platform three again. There you go, you can go through. And see, the thing with CBTC or automatic signaling, there won't be like fixed signals, and that so this would just like change automatically, and this would just follow this one right behind. But obviously, with fixed point signaling, block signaling, it's just sections. And how fast the points can change. <laughs> that is essentially what it's all about. And we can route that through. And I think it's sort of like we hit we hit like a peak sort of service, and now we're sort of like I think on the sort of like off peak service. If that makes any sort of sense. I can see the trains are sort of like withering out a bit. We've had our sort of fun in terms of like a rush, an influx. Uh, so with this one, I can route it through. And that's fine. And that works out. I like that. Maybe an extra bit of speed here with the time. Oh, so I can pre-program this signal. Oh, that's really nice to know, actually. So the, the fixed ones you can't, the triangle ones you can. It's nice. Get that through. Uh, uh. Fix that through. This one is going into platform two, so that's just straight, straight, bam. Uh, see, this is this is this is the that's this is the problem with doing uh, <laughs> doing get at speed. Just constant like this is a i guess a sort of type of way of playing like you just play really fast and see if you can just keep up with it but then in a way it just doesn't become relaxing for me anymore it just becomes like absolute stress and that's fine maybe we want a bit we want a bit of stress we want a bit of induced stress uh Another one through there. And this one is going to platform three. And there we go. Get that one moving if we want. I'm going to slow it down, I think. That was a nice little rush, a little burst of excitement, but. Thank you right now, like. It's nice when it's slow and just you're just taking your time with everything. Um, and then this one could be oh no, that one's still there at Baker Street. Uh, there we go. Be a little bit of a little bit of um Lost approach here. Get that, get that, put all that in that four. Another one, just it's all coming at me now, these last few trains. Let's just slow that down again. 
Uh, let's sort this out to get this terminating district line train sorted. There we go. Bam. Beautiful. Again, the one that we always forget here at Bacon Street to do when, we, when we, we're signaling out from platform one. Uh, right. So, get that one going a bit. And then I can sort out this one to get back going on its uh, circle line loop. I think. Sorted. Absolutely sorted there. And I can even go a little bit faster. Because it's all done. It's all pre programmed. 10 steps ahead, always. And. Get that one going like that. Reverse the district line. And that's it, really. And then we just swap that one in to Paddington Bourbon. Get that one there. And there we go. I think these are the three last trains on the map. Signal this one now. There we go. That's that's everything signaled. That's everything done. All the trains, all the traffic management and flow have have um have done us well. Done us very very well actually. I'm quite I'm quite chuffed with that. And there we go. Have I done it? Oh, oh! I got rid of the UI. That's what happened. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know what's happening here with the game. I think the game's having a little bit of a, uh, uh, a little bit of a. It's not feeling well. But I hope you enjoyed this video of um, Rail Route. Train Dispatcher, me doing a little bit here on Paddington, um, which is now just sudden just become this. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what map would you like to see me do next in the series on uh, playing Rail Route? Uh, if you can have a look at you can have a look at the workshop and see what ones they have, and I, I might just pick out one of like to do a few. I do like them. I'll do maybe maybe some shorter ones, maybe some shorter bursts, more trains and stuff like that. This was relatively like a quick map or like just a easier sort of kind of map to kind of get into with this series. But I hope you like it. It might be a good game to as well stream, which would be quite fun. But yeah, I don't know what's happened with my game here. It's kind of just uh it's just kind of gone away with the fairies. But anyway guys Take care. Have a lovely day. I will see you in another episode of um, playing Rail Route, or I'll see you in a completely another different video playing another game. Take care. Have a lovely day. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. We ain't